foul swine thinks he can take my key. Mm-hmm. I'll show him. Mm-hmm. I'll open it. I'll open my door. Mm-hmm. I'll open the secret door. They're still looking for it. They're looking for me. Mm-hmm. They'll never find it here. In my vault. Mm-hmm. Disgusting, disgusting dwarves. Dwarves are so disgusting. Ugh. Hmm. The craftsmanship. The craftsmanship on this is astounding. They'll never find it. They'll never find it here. The goblin can hide anything here. <laughs> Be warned, anyone. Be warned, anyone who dares. Open this box. Few surprises lately for you. In my box. Yo, what's up? And welcome back. Sorry to frighten you, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. It hurts so much. Ugh. This is a heavy mass. Thing weighs like 10 pounds. Look at the detail on that though. Hope you guys enjoyed that intro. We had a lot of fun shooting it. One of the reasons we shot that intro was because the box, the chest, the dresser that we are going to be attempting to solve today, the back of it sort of exposed and it reminded me of, uh, remember in Harry Potter when Harry goes down into the vault at Gringotts to the bank with the goblins? The mask reminds me of the goblins and the box itself, the back of it reminds me of that big door to the vault when it goes Today we're looking to solve the secretum system. But before I get into that, I have a quick favor. As you guys may know, Neil Patrick Harris, NPH, the legend himself, he's releasing, I heard he's releasing a board game. And for those of you who don't know Neil's work, Neil's a magician, but he also collects puzzles. And I would love to have him on the channel. I would love to get a hold of his board game. Um, so I've been reaching out to his PR team. They haven't answered me. So guys, if you wanna do me a quick favor, hit up NPH on Instagram and just, just at me. Tag me on his latest post and let's just go spam him for a bit. I'll apologize after when he responds to me, but just, you know, just so we can get past the barrage of people already trying to contact him and make some noise. So if you wanna, I'll left the link below. If you wanna see that happen, please help me out. Okay, so today, the Secretum Sista by Jesse Bourne. This is a puzzle unlike any other puzzle I've solved because it's a dresser. It is complete with 18 drawers basically 18 separate puzzles built into one. It's crazy how well it's built. You see the dovetails here. This puzzle was lent to me, it is not my puzzle. Only a few of them were made and they were sent out to uh, to the people who paid for them. But if you guys wanna check out Jesse Bourne's work, highly encourage you to, to do so. This guy's really creative. Uh, JesseBourne.com, I left the link below. So without any further ado, let's solve the Secretum system. Well, here we are. The Jesse Boy, this is kind of a weird angle. I like this. You got the back of the puzzle over here. We got the front of the puzzle over here because we're gonna be tinkering with these drawers. But as we're tinkering with them, as you can see, the contents of all the puzzles are back here. So you guys are gonna be able to get a little behind the scenes view of what the heck's going on, which is really dope. None of these drawers actually open. In fact, when we received it uh, because of shipping, it shook around a little bit and actually one of them did open and we had to repair that and make sure it didn't before we went into solving the puzzle. So we contacted Jesse and he let us know uh, what to do. So as of now, all of these do not open. There is different a different amount of resistance in all of them. So some of them have a little bit of give, some of them have none whatsoever, and some of them feel like they're on like a spring like this one. So the only thing that does move here at first is this, as you can see on the back of the puzzle. It's got a bunch of holes here, almost like a flute. And on the other side, it's got like notches. So these little holes, um, I'm guessing will act as some type of key. When we get like a piece, we can put it in here. We can go in here and then we can perhaps unlock something else. So we'll see that. So because none of the drawers open, because you know we don't want to force anything, um, I'm thinking the handles might be a little bit of a clue here. Like this handle here is super loose and I'm not sure if that's normal or not. Ah, there we go. This one does as well. Oh! Interesting. Does this come out? That's very interesting. On the inside of here, there's like this peg. 
Uh, so this, oh wow, magnetized. So there's a small uh, puzzle here in this drawer. You gotta push this in and just turn that to, uh, to open it up. You do have, you've got some type of groove here, some type of line. I don't know what that's for, but there's a hole that goes all the way down through it. <clears throat> oh, I can't show you this. This is weird. Underneath this drawer, there is a sliding mechanism. So I slid that forward, and then there's another sliding mechanism that goes this way. So it kind of like inter interlatches. It goes here, and then once it's there, this piece goes in here. What does that accomplish, you may ask? I don't fully know. I'm quite frank. Huh, okay, maybe that goes back in. Oh, see, because it, oh, now it's unlocked this one. Okay. We'll leave this one there for now. We've now opened the second drawer because of these, uh, these things that we had to click underneath it, which is kind of cool. There seems to be a pattern on the end of this one, as you can see here, a bit of a pattern there. Nothing really else, huh? Okay, so with these, uh, with this little pattern here, Wondering if the end of this comes out or something. Oh, boom. So that slides up. Now I'm not sure, obviously I'm not sure which drawer to pull out first. This one here seemed to be a bit of a dead end to me as there's a pattern on the inside, but aside from that, there's nothing else. So. I don't know whether this unlocks another one, but over here. Oh, and that gets pushed in. So you can see it on your screen here. That gets pushed in a little bit further. Um, there's almost like a lock that wants to drop there. Just having a look at this door. Maybe the door holds the key to something else here. This handle twirls. This one here. If you see me glancing over like this, I'm staring at the monitor, which shows me the back of the puzzle. Hmm. Aha! There's a tiny pin right up here that is going to slide over. Click like that. And now I gotta bring this thing back up here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Very cool. Oh, we have a little artifact. White and brown square. My guess is that this is quite possibly magnetic or of alien origin, one of the two. So, <laughs> is it made for this? Huh. So right now I'm just using it um, and sort of brushing it alongside the puzzle to see if uh, there's any type of magnetic attraction here. So now we're gonna have to find a use for this magnet. The magnet stuck right here, so that's one possible that's one possible use for the magnet. I also don't want to shortcut the puzzle, uh, meaning I don't want to skip ahead in steps. Like uh, puzzle creators, sometimes they make really complicated uh, sequential puzzles, um, and I've had the fortune or misfortune of solving them prematurely because I've figured out a way to jump ahead in the steps without knowing. I thought that was the way to go. Uh, but that often happens. You'll you'll see that happen sometimes. And in which case, I, I don't think, you know, honestly, I think that that's perfectly acceptable. I mean, you made the puzzle, that happened. Should have been foreseen. So, right here, this whole thing is metal. Boom. So I've used the magnet, and right here on this pin, it was connected magnetically. Somehow I used the magnet to undo that, right here. So this pin would have been up here like this. And then the magnet released some uh, locking mechanism. That's how that opened. Okay, looks like we have the very same drawer as this one with the pattern inside. So these two drawers both have this pattern. I'm not sure what this means. Let's try using the magnet. Oh, definitely some metal back here and definitely magnetic. I'm wondering if, okay, let's see, uh, let's see on this one here, if this is also magnetic. Indeed it is. What if I push that back? Oh wait, why is it stuck now? I'm just trying to see in behind this puzzle. 
Trying to see by attaching the magnet to the back of the drawer, if I push that back in, if there's something that might happen back there, but it doesn't look like it. Why would that be magnetic then back there? Is it just due to there's a screw? I'm really curious on how this one. Okay, now that locks. Oh, there's a, there must be a magnet grabbing the top of that thing in the back, the top of the back of the drawer. So the top drawer is here, the bottom drawer is here. Uh, when the top drawer goes in, there's a small magnet that grabs the latch here, which allows this one to extract. Again, still running this magnet here. There's gotta be a reason this drawer opens. Like these two drawers here, maybe I have to open a third one and then it gives me some type of design that I have to follow, I don't know. That scraping you're hearing is simply the pin, this pin here, scraping on that wood. Now, there's gotta be something to do with this turning. There's nothing to do on this particular puzzle here. I mean, it locks down there, maybe. I guarantee you one of these things unscrews. That's gotta be it. One of these things has to be an extra tool. What a wasted opportunity if we didn't use one of these, uh, one of these handles, one of these little knobs here as an extra tool. Now, although I say that with confidence, I can't find. Was that coming out before? I don't believe it was. Oh, hello. There's a little internal maze here. So on the top of this drawer here, there's a cylinder and in that cylinder, there are grooves and there's probably a peg somewhere and I have to maneuver those grooves, uh, just like a maze outside this drawer here. Better view here. So as you can see, there is some type of maze in there. Uh, that is the mechanism uh, that was locking this drawer. Aside from that, it's pretty much, it's pretty much it. Maybe from time to time, I'll just grab the grab this camera off the sticks here to give you guys a better view of what it is I'm looking at. You know, we got another opening here, but now we're stuck. Now we're completely stuck. It will not come out. It will not turn. So therefore, I got to push it back in a bit to perhaps find another groove. And now we're stuck another dead end. Maybe I push it back even more. But now we're back to the beginning. Hey, there we go. Wow, look at this. It's kind of strange, but um, I had to move it like, as you can see, there's some traps here. These are all little traps that you get trapped in and uh, I had to maneuver it through there. See, that's that's where I got stuck, and then I had to go back through here, then I go down, I get stuck, so I had to push it back in. So many little traps and twists. Very cool, very well done. Doesn't seem to be anything on the bottom, anything on the top, definitely doesn't come out. This one here looks like it might be attached to the one under it. So now that we've done these two top ones, I mean, logically, this is the one that should come out. The only thing I can see on this one here is this line. Ah, and there you have it. <laughs> so there's a reason. See, there's a reason for everything. Every little design here, there's a reason for. But this one definitely shifts to the side, which allows it to open. How cool is that? Why? Small little lock on this side here where when it's put in there, it just locks to the side here. So now if that one's released, what does that mean? I'm not sure how that top drawer, I'm not sure how this one affects anything. Like what's the point of opening this one? I don't see how it's connected to any of the other ones right now. Crazy what's going on back here. Still these. There's still these ones here with the, with the little patterns on the inside, which I'm not sure what they do. All right, so this middle drawer here is connected to the one that's under it, somehow. 
and there's gonna be a way to move this little ladder out of the way to let that pin go up so that the middle drawer can come out and I'm sure it has to do with how this one's done. So what we're gonna do is simultaneously Oh, what's this? Just found that here. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be stuck in there. Okay. So this pin probably goes in here somewhere. <sighs> Is there a hole? Ah, yes. Right here. There is a tiny hole, much like the one that was over here. We're going to stick that pin in here. And now, <gasps> let's go. Okay, what's up with this drawer? Oh, weird, there's something on the inside here. Here. There is like this wave, as you can see, that's there, and that's about it. I think I can get it to move maneuver that thing. My hands are so big, I don't know. So it moves like th this much. All right, so that little wave here needs to be shoved in. Oh, so I've moved it more to the side now. Oh, which opens this drawer here. And in here, a little piece of wood with a hole. A hole that looks like it fits this thing, actually. <gasps> Have we created another tool? Remember this guy here? We had like a hole going through here. Okay, so we're gonna take this. We're gonna place it in here. I'm guessing that this part here, once it goes in, will, there we go. Nice. So that opens this one. So that little pin here would uh, basically pop this one up. And now we have another tool. And we have two tools. We still have this one too. I still feel like these drawers here, not this one, these here, um, I'm still wondering where this goes. And again, all I can seem to think is that this goes here. I have an idea. That magnet is now in there. This magnet actually lifts up that little slider here. Because there's two sliders on this one, as you can see. Here, what if I... This is so complicated. What if I do this? You might be able to see what I'm doing. Oh! Okay, we got it. Wow. Oops. Oops. That's, this is not supposed to be falling out, I think. And now here... On the inside of this guy, let's try to light a little bit. So right here, there's another dowel, another little notch here. And it seems to be able to move up. So now this one comes out. Uh, so this lock here, this little notch here, uh, there was this that had to slide up for this to come out. Why did that come out? Well, that's what we gotta figure. Is there anything underneath? Does not seem to be anything underneath of any particular value. Oh! This is also a magnet. We've got this tool, this thing, which I don't know if it's a tool yet. We've got this. Oh, you know what that looks like? This looks like it might fit in there. This seems like a, a large key that I can turn. Um, now it's to figure out, of course that fits in there. Okay. 
Wow, that's crazy. All right, on the inside there, you got these pins. And those pins are like little tumbler locks, almost like a uh, lock and key. And by turning that cylinder, they will knock up those things, like boom, knock them upwards or downwards. I'm gonna do one at a time. Okay, so these um, these keys are, they're individually lifting up like a lever, like a switch. However, that switch is constantly dropped as soon as the key is done turning. So I turn and it goes click and you hear it fall back down. So my guess is that I don't use that one key, but my guess is that I need more of those pegs. As you can see here, which you probably can't, there is a small tiny hole right here. A hole, in fact, big enough for this pin. This pin has been a lifesaver. So the pin, when I push this drawer in, the pin is entering another space, uh, but there's no give there. So I don't know why that is. We're gonna figure that out right now. Aha, there we go. Something here on the bottom. There's something underneath this drawer, a small, almost looks like this, this one. So I'm trying to figure out what that is. And it rotates a little bit. Well, my fingers are a little too big to get in there. And there's also a hole on the side here, as you can see right there. Uh, so I'm guessing the peg that is here, uh -huh. more stuff. Oh, that looks about right. So this is going to go in here. This one is going to fit into this hole here. And we're going to play around with it here to see if we can. Yes. Yes. Oh! Aha! That is two parts to the key. I figure this one probably requires this little magnet as well, wherever I put that little magnet. All right, I just spent the better part of 20 minutes trying to find this, and it was actually, <laughs> when I brought my camera down to the table, it was actually stuck to my camera lens. Right here, click. Careful when you're handling magnets and cameras, apparently. Um, what we're gonna do with this, the reason I wanted this is because we probably have the same situation here. as we did last time. So we have this drawer come out now. Again, that peg was magnetized. What's going on in here? Uh, we got a little... Oh. Oh, well, there we go. Boom, baby. An empty drawer. Nothing particular special about this drawer. Oh, this lifts up. Hold on. Hey, we've got another key. So one side has a magnet, the other doesn't. You, I'm pretty sure you wanna make sure it's on the magnet side when you put it on this middle thing so that they don't fall down. What drawers do we have left? We got this middle drawer here and we got these bottom drawers here. Oh, this one opens. This out of the way. Oh, well that was simple. We have another part of the key here. This. I think this drawer needs to open. How did this one open again? Did we have this one open before? How did this one, oh yeah. There we go. This one should open, no? Yes. 
So in the back here, these ladders, this one is connected to this one. This one is connected to that one. And obviously that one's gonna be connected to the last one. So let's put this in here. Gonna move this out of the way again. Missing one peg for the key here. One peg, uh, which is gonna be in that drawer, uh, which means this one and this one have to be completely open. And then that one opens. How cool is that? Can we see the mechanism behind that? Let's close that. So that one is now locked on the bottom. Wait. That one is now locked. How is that connected? Can we see that? Ah, look at that ladder move up and down. Isn't that cool? And that allows that to open. Wow. That is ingenious. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the final, the final peg. As we move this in here. Ta-da. Oh, wow, look at this. Secretum Sista. August 2020, limited edition, 16 of 30, Wenge, Holly, Purple Heart. It's got all the, uh, all the wood names. And in here is a key. And this key, I was told, would open the back. Really feel like this thing needs to be pried open. There we go. That is the back of this puzzle. Here you go, here's some of the internal mechanisms. As I said, these things would uh, would, would be pushed up due to those uh, drawers. I mean, the craftsmanship is pretty stellar on this. I would say definitely an extremely difficult puzzle. Roughly what? What time is it now? Hold on. It is 12.02, about three hours of solve time to get here. And it's probably gonna take another hour to put all these things back. I'm probably gonna have to go look at that footage uh, and figure out how to put this all back together. But that was a lot of fun. Hot. Uh, almost three hours of solving time to get this thing done. I still have yet to put it together, by the way. I'm kind of staring at it and I'm dreading dreading that part. That's my least favorite part. You know, some puzzles are meant to be put back together and some it's like you solve, you get the prize, you're like, yay, everything's great. And then you turn around, you got this big pile of tools and wood and you're like, no, no. <laughs> I gotta go through it again. I have to send this back to Jesse or to whoever purchased this, so I gotta pack it all up. Uh, but guys, if you enjoyed this video, you like what we do here, let me know by leaving a like. That's all you gotta do. Drop a like, subscribe if you wanna see more of this. Every Wednesday, we're uploading epic puzzles, so you guys can stay tuned and get notified if you choose to. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.